Hello and welcome back to the channel and my playthrough of Epic Origins Call to Adventure the campaign mode. We are doing we just beat uh, the Tarask. We one shot his ass and now we are in campaign mode chapter 3. Crisis of Faith. After the seismic fall of the beast and the countless deaths during rampage, the world's faith has been shaken. In dark alleys and open marketplaces, self-proclaimed prophets preach the gospel of a new god. Desperate people begin praying to this strange entity from another plane of existence. When this usurper god calls forth an angel with the power to smite all unbelievers, it's clear that the time has come to fight back. Perhaps you serve on the old god, or even blessed with celestial blood. Whether you're fi whatever your faith, you must face this false god and cut off or acclaim its power. Ooh. Objective, confront the false god. I mean, is it really, if it has all this power, is it really a false god? Although, to be fair, we do only serve the one true lord, Cthulhu. Begin a new game by shuffling Celestial into the heritage, which is going to be this. Celestial, ooh, that thing looks cool. That's very cool. I want to be that. Then we do this one. Ascended Deity. This is an in-game scoring. Gain one of one. Eh, seems cool. Looks like Sarah from Magic the Gathering. False vision. God damn, that is that is a biblically accurate angel right there. And fallen angel. Nope, not this one yet. Oh wait, it's this one. Fallen angel and then the false god. Okay. Outcome. Whether you succeed or fail, open the next envelope. If you fail to defeat the false god, confront it once more in a future play session. But your next session should be against the old one. They said that before with the dark one. Like, when are we supposed to fight these people? Anyway. Uh, fallen angel. We need dexterity and strength, I believe that is. Yes. Dexterity and strength. No, that's not dexterity. What is that? Wisdom and strength. Doesn't matter. Uh, if we beat this, we get a hero card. Very nice. When a hero adds a dark element to their path, it gains an adversary health. Uh, when a hero adds a light part, it loses one. Nice. Gain plus two to this attempt if you have more light paths in your story than dark paths. <clears throat> I don't believe these count until the end. So we're not going to count it. Shuffle everything. Let's do it. Our origin is celestial. A construct. I'm a warforged. Pay one to add one relevant ability rune to this challenge. Uh, I guess that. I guess you add it or add a roll to it. You don't just add the one. I don't know. Well. Get that when we get that to two. Hello? Oh, I'm not saying that it's there. Two. There we go. Outcast or pirate. Oh, that has strength. We definitely want strength. And this gives us anti-hero cords, which is nice. Free cords is always nice. Although your first dark Rooney's turn is free. We don't really want dark because uh, that thing gets more powerful for that. Hello? And then two of these. We can either be a wizard or a cleric. That has both the symbols we need. So we're definitely going to be a cleric. Clerics don't do strength. What's that about? And... It doesn't really matter, but the bonus in game's going. A secret sovereign or a celebrity adventurer. A uh, secret sovereign, I guess. Why are these things slightly floating about? Whatever, weird mod. Anyway, that is that. We start with one hero chord, which is meta magic. That's pretty good. And let's see what we get. We get athlete, a strength icon for free very early is nice. Educated. Resist the call. Make a dark pack. Book of Shadows. Or two wisdom icons. We're off to a really good start. This is wisdom and strength. This is exactly what we need. 
Uh, we start with three experience, I believe. Okay, we're just gonna start by putting two XP on the cleric. So we have plus one to wisdoms. Perfect. And we're gonna do a wisdom path, because why not? Uh, we are going to attempt to resist the call of darkness. We don't have anything. Do I want to add a dark room? This might be... I have a plus one and I have a meta magic. It's probably fine. So we're just going to roll. Or... That was terrible. I failed this. Um... Well, first, we activate this. Play a core from the adversary deck. Plus one challenge. Great. So now it's a four to zero. Not that it matters. And I get a card. I can actually do it. <laughs> I can play teamwork to get plus one. Meta magic counts itself. That That's another plus two. And with the cleric, that's a four, which is just enough to do it. Let's do it. Amazing. I am so cool. I have resisted the call of darkness and spit in the face of this fallen angel. Next. I don't think I failed a skill test yet. That would have been the first one. Too bad I don't fail anything. Except for Arkham Horror. Let's go. Okay, we are going to... After that, resisting the call, we are going to visit the mountaintop monastery and make a pilgrimage. It would be nice to defeat, defend the monks, but when we get athletic, we're going to get two. And so might as well get this other two while it's easy. That plus that. And we get a base plus one. Do it. A oh, but the ability card activates. Reveal this after they, if they fail, the Avis, well, we're not going to fail. I get, I'll get a hero card. Uh, we are probably not going to do that for a while. And we made a pilgrimage. Boom. Two, two. And one more. We are probably just going to take athletic. And we are, in fact, just going to take Athletic. Okay. That is our Act 1 done. You can still go here if we want to. Probably not. Oh, that has a thing at the bottom. Oh, well. Act 2. Oracle. Vanquish Arrivals. That's a nice one. Freedom Fighter. And a Gladiator. When you gain this, gain an experience if you added a, one of those two symbols, which we did. We gained Athletic. Let's see, we're at two. One more is the cap. I kind of just want Vanquish Arrivals. That's a, that's a card. That's a thing. Freedom Fighter it would be nice because it gets an experience off of it. But yeah, we're just going to look at this adv rival adventurers and vanquish them. Because that's what heroes do. Okay, we need a four up. Good lord. Uh, that is five. We activate our power ability. One of those we're saying, so we get an anti-hero cord. I ain't saying no cords or cords. That's very good. Although I don't necessarily want to gain, go up on the corruption track because I like having both for this. Anyway, next is guard a sacred item or steal a relic. We're not stealing a relic because that gives the adversary something. Anything cheap we can do? Like, I could do that, but then I can't use my anti-hero cards. And we can't even really do anything with these. I think we're going to journey. We're not really getting any more XP, I think. Get rid of this. 
And we can gain a life partner or object to the union. We're not objecting to the union because that's evil. We could gain a life partner. We're not very good at gaining a life partner. No, we're not very charismatic. Or we could just go easy, get Freedom Fighter. That's one XP off. But uh, no, we don't want Freedom Fighter because that thing. Fine, we're gonna attempt to gain a life partner. We're gonna. Uh, we can't use Dark Room because that's experience. So this isn't. I'm not gonna be able to pass. Never mind. I could go up. And. Just get some easy stuff in. Yeah, we're going to be stealthy. We have a wisdom, so we gain XP, which is nice. That refills. Last activation. What do I want to do? We could go for points. Guard the sacred item. That's a double icon. Potentially gain a life partner later. Yeah, we're going to do this. Holy Sanctum. Guarding. We already have the max, but whatever. Let's see what we get. Good lord. Uh, that's an experience. Uh, it's an, also an anti-hero cord. And that is a successful thing. Booyaka shaka. Reset. Now we have to face the adversary. The first adversary. The fallen angel. We have not done anything. We have to get really good for this. So. We need a six or higher. We don't get the bonus because we don't have any things in our story. Maybe. What does it? What does a rule book specifically say about story? Maybe I do. Story. Your story includes your tarot size cards in your character tableau. That's all it does. It is just a hero. So nope. We do not have more light than dark. We are even. So. We get three core. Three strength. And only have two wisdom. Looking to get at least a six. Let's go. Um... If I defeat this, I get a hero card, which is always nice. Hey, oh, good lord. I knocked that out the park. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 11, 12. I one-shot the whole thing. <clears throat> I get... One anti-hero card. One hero card for defeating it. And... Um, that's a symbol, so I get an XP. Let's go. Oh, and I got plus one because of Cleric. Speaking of Cleric, we're now getting plus two to the False God. So, uh, same thing. It gets an XP when we add a Dark Story. Uh, for the Chord symbol, you get minus one if you're attempting a Dark Path, which we're not going to do. And still, minus one when a hero adds a light story path to their story. Oh, yeah. And our path threes, let's see what we get. We can be a necromancer. Which is completely worthless, because there's this is true solo, so there is no other hero. Um, we can, there's a great worm. We can either command the dragon or defeat it. Uh, assassination attempt. Hire a killer or stop an assassin. That's a good one. And Winter Heart. We can Endless Winter or Restore Summer. Let's see. We have two of the will icons. We need a third. And wouldn't you, happen, wouldn't you know it? There are two right there. Let's go. This one only needs a seven. So we're going to do that. So we get three regular. That did not count. Two of those. Uh, we're going to get plus one. I'm going to spend an XP to get a dark room. It's probably fine. Let's see what we get. Looking for a seven up. Well, six up because we got the bonus. Good lord. Two, four, two, four, five, six. We got it. 
We are not attempting the dark path, so this does nothing. We get a card. Um, we go down the corruption track. Uh, let's get a hero card. <sighs> okay. Uh, we're going to make amends. If I, I did attempt a light side this time. So, because of that, we gain go right back up the corruption and gain a hero card. Always good to have plenty of cards against the false god. It's an 8, so yeah. And we are capped out on the icons for the final boss. Let's go. Next one is a tyrant stronghold. Defeat the tyrant or free the enslaved. Both of those are good paths. That's nice. Uh, so we're capped out. Do I need any? Uh, not really anything we can get. We're going to do Song of Rest to have gained an experience last turn. It would be nice if I had some charisma, but I don't. <laughs> we'll do Song of Rest again so I would have gained two XP. Okay, and I am hesitant to do anything that would defeat a tyrant. Defeat a tyrant gives us three of a kind, which is cool. That's some good points, I believe. That's like six or eight. That's four. Yeah, let's do it. We're going to attempt to defeat the tyrant. We get the three cores, all three strengths. We need a eight, but we have the plus one from being a cleric, so we only need a seven. And we have nothing in here to help us, so that's nice. That's bad. Uh, no. Oh, shoot. It should have played a card for the last time. I thought it overwrote the thing, not eh, whatever. So last time, reveal this hero attempts challenge has plus two. Okay, I would have just discarded one. Let's just say I did that. And for this one, plus one. I am failing this one. So now I need a seven, eight, nine. I can get a card. Let's get a hero card. Uh, so I have one, two, three, four. I gain an anti-hero cord because of my class. Mm. I gain XP for that. So I have two, four, five to nine. I failed. <laughs> this was the first one I failed. You get an added XP. No. That was, that could have been better. I gain XP for losing. There is no point going full cleric because again, there is no other, there is no other hero in play. Do I have three different story icons? One, two, no, this wouldn't be in play right now. So I only have one. Um, do I go for an eight again with that? Man, this hand sucks. I could attempt to gain a life partner. I could flip one of... No, I don't have that icon. I need an icon first before I can do that. I could be intimidating. Yeah, it's fine. We'll be intimidating. 
We have a sword icon, so we gain one more experience. Flip this over. And last action. What do I want to do? I could try Endless Winter again. Well, not again, but you know what I mean. It's an eight. I have all six. If I add it to my thing, I'm good. But if I don't, I have a plus one in my hand because I just picked up Intimidating. But that is it. I just have a plus one. Is that worth? What are the statistics for this? They have it in the back of the book somewhere. There it is. CR plus three. The average is six, the max is nine. I could add a dark room to this. I don't really care. Yeah, let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. We are restoring summer. Doing that. All three of these. We're going to add a dark room. We have a plus one in our hand. The average is seven point five, so I'm I'm good, probably. And before I'm not good. Uh, two, four, five, six. Okay, seven. And I have the plus one, which makes eight, which is just enough. I go down on Corruption. Uh, this gives me an XP, so I got that right back. This goes under here. I added a light thing, so it loses its adversary health. <coughs> and that is it. It is time to fight the False God. We need an eight. We have everything we're going to have. Um, do I go for points? <clears throat> I'm going to add one dark room just to be safe. I have a plus one in my hand. I get plus two to this attempt for a cleric. Should be fine. Good lord. Okay, so we draw an adversary card. Ignore that hero's class powers until end of turn. I think I still find by that. Um, I draw a cord. I'll draw a hero? Yeah, hero. Okay. So that's gone. I get two, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yeah, he did, did. And then that's pff, another one. <coughs> I'm not attempting this. This is going to stay in my hand. Uh, the adversary. I would have done this last turn for the extra point. So I would have been up here. Um, after this is resolved, I'm doing the self flex axe because I would not have wanted to. Do, do. Plus one because why not? And that's that. And I also get. 1, 2 XP. Okay. We have defeated the false god. There is only one true god. Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Okay. So. Uh, we did it. Let us check the score. Triumph points. That was this. So that's a 7. Boyaka Shaka. Tra oh no. Triumph is the light things. Whatever. 4, 8. Eight for there. Story icons. Um, we have three of a kind, right? One, two. No, we have two of a kind. I failed that test. That's right. That's right. So that's only two. Experience points. I have six. Hero chords played is nine and ten. Here, I already did that. Corruption track points. Plus eight, we are in the light. <coughs> Not 98, goddamn. 
And the Destiny card. Uh, I get plus one for each of those symbols, which is two. And for each experience, so another eight. Oh, 49. One off. One off from max. I went off from 50, I, would, I should say. Because I couldn't play this in my hand. Oh, well. Well, that is it for the false god, the crisis of faith. Next, we are facing, looks like a mind flare. This is, this is Baldur's Gate 3 coming up. Until next time, take care.